Yeah, hi there, and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to Pass the TOEFL IBT. And uh, these, this video is for my TOEFL Level 6 students here at California State University, San Bernardino. How are you guys doing? And in this video right now, I want to give you some specific information about how you can continue to improve your academic, <coughs> excuse me, your academic English language proficiency. All right, now if you took my reading midterm exam or my first uh, and second writing practice test, just keep this in mind, if your writing score right now is below 3.0 out of five or you took the reading midterm exam and your score is below 80 so if you fit that criteria or I should say those criteria then you probably have what I call language use issues language use issues means you're having some problems with your vocabulary and your grammar but there's good news you can actually improve these things fairly quickly so in this video I have four <coughs> I have four suggestions of things that you can do beginning today to improve your language use. Now remember that you guys have a break coming up and if you want to continue to use my online course during the break that gives you four or five weeks of practice, uh, you can make a lot of improvements in your language use and it's going to make it much more, it's going to make it easier for you to complete your graduate work at California State University if you start your master's programs next quarter, for example. Number one, keep reading on a day-to-day -day basis. You've probably noticed I've put newspapers in the Yasuda Center. I asked the uh, Coyote Chronicle to deliver newspapers here for you guys. Read each newspaper that's delivered here. Read the whole thing get in the habit of reading newspapers. This is very, very important for your language use. Now, in addition to that, you can read magazines and you can read books. Read, read topics that you actually have a genuine interest in and you're more likely to be consistent with your reading. Now, how much should you read? You should be reading between 30 and 45 minutes every day for the next six to eight weeks. This is very important for your language use. Number two, because your writing score is lower than three right now and you're also scored below 80 on the reading midterm uh, you need to improve your vocabulary and guess what in the vocabulary section of my course I have a very good lesson it's called vocabulary lesson number three I highly recommend that you start studying this lesson there's over 20 chapters you'll learn about 10 words in each chapter you will have some reading you have some listening even some <coughs> even some grammar practice activities to help you reinforce your learning of the words in addition you can download the audio files of all those vocabulary words and put them on your iPhone or your smartphone or your, or your iPad or any other tablet or device that you're using you can start listening to these words I also recommend that you practice spelling them. Make sure you're comfortable hearing them, pronouncing them, and spelling them. So by completing vocabulary lesson three over the next few weeks, that's really going to help you with your language use. Now, the third thing. Again, your writing score right now is lower than three. That means you definitely have some grammatical problems with your writing. So what do you do? The first step, go to the third section of my online course and complete the grammar diagnostic pretest. Once you do the pretest and you review your incorrect answers, I have links. There's links that take you to, to lessons in my course that you can review to help you strengthen uh, your grammar knowledge in those areas. My fourth suggestion is to continue going through my speed reading tests. This is very important. Your goal is to reach a reading speed of 300 words per minute with 60 to 80 percent comprehension. So you don't have to understand everything you're reading, but if you can understand 60 to 80 percent of what you're reading, you're okay. 
All right, so those are my four suggestions. So to help you improve your language use, you have to practice. It's not gonna come automatically. Nobody's gonna give you the gift of language use. It will come after a lot of practice over a long period of time. So number one, do the extensive reading like I said. Number two, complete the lessons in vocabulary lesson three. Number three, make sure you do the grammar pretest and then start studying the lessons focusing on your specific grammar weaknesses. And then four, continue to go through my speed reading tests in the reading section of my course so that you can reach a speed, a minimum reading speed of 300 words per minute. That's going to be very important for your graduate study. And remember that you have, beginning today, you probably have almost eight weeks between now and January to make some really good improvements with your language use. Now, what do you think is going to happen as you make improvements with your language use? Do you think that's going to help your IELTS or your TOEFL scores? Of course it is. So not only will you do better at the graduate, uh, in your graduate classes, but if you do take the IELTS or the TOEFL test, I promise you, if you follow these four suggestions, you will be able to make some improvements. So how much time should you spend going through these areas? My recommendation is maybe one to two hours every day, seven days a week for the next four to eight weeks to make the improvements that you need to make. All right, anyway, thank you very much. You guys are great students, and I will see you later on today.